Yo, what's going on my fellow graphic designers? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a live stream thumbnail that looks just like this in Photopea super easily. So it looks really nice and it's super easy to do, just a few layers. So without further ado, let's get started. So once you're at Photopea.com, go ahead and click on New Project. And for the width, we're going to be doing 1280 and for the height, we're going to be doing 720 and hit Create. Now what you want to do is first get your background. So whatever game you're playing in your stream or whatever you're doing in your stream, get a screenshot of that. So for example, I think this is Valorant. Yeah, it is. So say I'm playing Valorant. This is what we're going to use. So find a picture of it or take a screenshot in your game. And I'm just going to copy this image and uh, paste it in here. It's a little too big. So control alt and T hold shift while you drag and we're going to resize it. So it fits in here perfectly. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to a new adjustment layer and click on color fill. And depending on what color you want your thumbnail to be, that's what you're going to go with. But I'm going to go with red. So I'm going to go up to red and hit OK. Now I'm going to change the blend mode of this to color. And I'm going to turn the opacity of it down just a bit like that. Now we're going to add the text. So go to your text tool over here on the left. Click anywhere and type in whatever you want. I'm going to type in live. And for the font, I'm going to do luckiest guy. Turn the size up a bit. 200 maybe. Yeah, we'll do 200 for now. And we're going to move that to the center. Now control J to duplicate it and drag it down and type in stream or whatever you're doing. Move that to the center as well right here. And now we're going to start changing the text. So we're going to start out with live. So your top text. Go ahead and click on that. And what you're going to want to do is click on gradient overlay. And here we're just going to change the gradient just a bit. So we're going to click on this color box right here and we're going to choose a darkish gray like maybe down here here's the color code 5c 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 and then white hit okay now we're going to add an inner glow we're going to change the blend mode to color dodge turn the opacity all the way up and we're going to change the color to white as well Turn the spread and size up quite a bit like this, and then just turn the opacity down as much as you need. Like that. And now we're going to add a drop shadow. Turn the opacity up to 100. Turn the angle to 90 degrees. So it's straight down and spread 100. Size, turn that down to about four and distance uh, about 12. We'll just turn this to a dark gray as well and change the blend mode to normal. So yeah, kind of like that. You might have to tweak some things like I am. Okay, like that. So I guess zero size, 13 distance. Works pretty good for me. And now we're ready to change the stream text. So again, gradient overlay, but this time change the white to red and change this gray to a darker red, like that. Nine, nine, and then four zeros. Hit okay. Add inner glow. Change the color to red as well and add a drop shadow and make the drop shadow a dark red like that. Hit OK. And now this is where it gets cool. So hold control and click on both of these text layers. Right click on one of them and hit convert to smart object. Now double click on it and add a stroke. Turn the stroke to black. Turn the size up quite a bit to about 20. Click this plus sign right here on the stroke 
and change the bottom one right here to white and then turn the size up on this as well and you can see that looks pretty cool so we're almost done what we're gonna do now is add some curves so go down here to this half circle the new adjustment layer and click on curves and we're just going to stick with the RGB channel and just move it up on this line and down on this line. You can see the difference. It makes it a little bit brighter. We can even move it up more. But yeah, we want to keep some of the darkish areas here. Okay. Now the last thing we're going to do is add a new layer. So down here, a new layer. Go to your brush tool. We're going to get the zoom tool, hold left click and zoom out and just hold alt, move your mouse up and to the right until it looks like this. Make sure your top box is white and just click above here and you can kind of get lower if you need to like that. Now we're just going to zoom back in and turn the opacity down on it just a bit. You can see with and without it. It just makes it look nicer. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Now, if you want to export it, you just go up to file, export as PNG or JPEG. It's up to you. PNGs are actually bigger and JPEGs are smaller, but the smaller they are, the lower the quality and the bigger they are, the better the quality. So that's up to you. I'm going to go with PNG and make sure the quality is 100% and you're ready to save. So hit save. You're done and I don't use Twitch, so I'm not sure how to actually put that on your stream, but I'm sure there's a tutorial out there that shows you. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. I make a lot of other content like this. So if you're new, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.